This is terrible. I'm really going to need the Leonidas to get out of this mess. Are you playing the Anikis for Thespis? I was, but now I can't. I lost all I had gambling with the commander. Now he says I'm his slave until I pay off the debt. I'll be working for him for years. All right. Let's settle this debt. Oh, thank you. The commander is right over there. <laughs> you want to play another game? So glad you brought company. No, I... well... I need my friend back. He's due to act in a play. I think it's time you let him leave. What's the play? Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. This man plays the Enikis, Leonidas' his lieutenant. Ah, a good military play. We need more of those on the stage. Of course, it would be best if they cast real soldiers instead of Nambi Pambi actors. I'm not! Oh, never mind. So here is how it is, Mistyos. This Malakas owes me a debt that he's paying off with service. Do you intend to take his place? How about you apologize for taking advantage of this man and wasting my time? You dare speak to your better like this. No one will miss such an impudent tongue. If you're playing the Enikis, you should be used to bloodshed. You're a Spartan, and the right-hand man of a king. But... that's a play. And this is... Reality? The Enikis didn't have that luxury. If you want to play a soldier, learn to be one. You're right. I can't be intimidated by a little bloodshed. I'll do the story of Leonidas proud. Good. Now get back to Thespis, and be ready to put on a play.
Thank the gods! Don't thank them yet. Let's get out of here. I don't think I could have survived much longer. Why were those Malakas keeping you prisoner? They were raving, convinced I'm the villains I play. They wanted me to lead them into a dark ceremony and tortured me to recite their spells. Nothing was enough. You're safe now. I am. But the witch has plans to harm the citizens of Elise. She says they wrong with her, so she poisoned a shipment of supplies for the city. I'll have to destroy those supplies before they get there. But now that she knows you're here, she'll leave her hiding place and flee into the wilderness. No one will be safe if she escapes. I can't let the people of Elise be poisoned. I'll destroy these supplies. No one can be poisoned by the supplies. I destroyed the poison supplies before they could reach Elise. Well, that's good, but the witch is still out there. Nobody is really safe. I'm not safe. You think Xerxes was ever safe? Leonidas and his Spartans wanted him dead. His own mother will betray him, given the chance. Xerxes asking for safety. You're right, the king of Persia would never grovel. He'd crush his enemies before they could execute their plans. I'm glad you see it that way. You should get back to Thespis. I will. And thank you. Xerxes will rule at last! Happy to have helped, your majesty.
Hello. Have you come to learn about the mysteries of Hidoni? Sure, I'd like to know. Let's start with, what's Hidoni? Hidoni is the goddess of bliss. And since we all seek bliss, we are all Hidoni. I'm not seeking bliss. I'm seeking an actor. We have no actors here, only teachers and students. Look, his name is Tross. He's an actor working for Thespis. I recall hearing that an actor joined us, but now his name is Hidoni. Like mine, everyone here is Hidoni. Just give me a straight answer. I need to find that actor. I'm sorry. I'm the only one permitted to speak with outsiders. But if you pass her initiation, others will speak with you too. Fine. Initiate me, Hidoni. What do I have to do? Wonderful. You must complete two tasks to demonstrate your devotion. First, climb to the top of the waterfall of eternal joy and dive into froth of fantasy. Right. And then what? Then, explore the cave of deepest self-knowledge and return with the treasure you'll find inside. Waterfall dive, cave treasure. Got it. This is the waterfall. Now to pick a good spot and jump. That cave must be around here somewhere. Ah, that must be the cave with the treasure inside. I'm looking for. Thank you. 
jumped from the waterfall and found the treasure. Now, will you initiate me? You have initiated yourself. Welcome to the mysteries of Hidoni. Hidoni, go talk with your brothers and sisters. They'll be happy to meet you. I'll go speak with them now. Are you Tross? I'm looking for an actor named Tross. What? I had nearly reached the third level of Hidoni's godly bliss when you interrupted me. Now I have to start all over again! You get on with that. It's probably best you stay away from acting. Kere, are you Tross, the actor? Um, I... Uh, no. No, I'm not him. Good. Otherwise, Thespis is terrible at choosing actors. Hello. Are you Tross, the actor? You must be new. There are no actors here. Our only role is to be Hidoni, to inhabit her grace and tranquility. You sound like you know something about the theater. I wouldn't say I know much about it. I might have studied a little Aristophanes, a little Euripides. Medea was robbed, you know. If you aren't the actor, Tross, you're certainly good enough to be him. Come act in Thespis' play. I'd like to help you, Hidoni. But I need to stay here, work on my enlightenment. All right? Picture it. You, up on a stage, showing hundreds of people how wonderful the message of Hidoni is. I'm offering you that chance. You just have to take it. That is magnificent. A chance to spread the joy of Hidoni to so many people. I'll do it. Good. Now go report to Thespis at Pelops Market in Elise. And get on with your rehearsals, Hidoni. I mean, the uh, Fialtis. Alexios, my muse, my helper, the one who saves my posterior. I require your assistance one last time. You've got all your actors, Thespis. Your audience is sated. So, what's the problem now? Leonidas himself is the problem. Picture it. I was rehearsing a monologue, brandishing my shield, encouraging my soldiers... Come back with your shield! Or under it! I believe that's with your shield or on it. No, no, I'm sure it's under it. But just as I gestured with my shield, I slammed it into my toe. And now I can barely stand, let alone act. It's a shame you have to cancel the play after so much work, Thespis. We are not canceling the play. We'd have to give back people's drachmi. The show must go on. My Leonidas is right in front of me. What? Me? I'm no actor. And I'm no general, but on stage I am. Think of it. You could bring the great man's memory back to life. He could live again through you. It's my destiny. I'll play Leonidas. 
Excellent. So, let's do a quick run-through of your lines. You already heard the first part. Come back with your shield! Or under it! On! On it! The next part is directed at Xerxes. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods in wine! I'm pretty sure Leonidas said, drench the gods with their blood. I know what I wrote. Finally, when you confront the traitor, today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Leonidas battled for all of Elas and its freedom, not just Sparta. I'm sure you'll get it right. If you like, go rehearse with the rest of the cast. But if you feel ready, to the stage with you. I'll go rehearse with my fellow actors first. It's good to see you again. I took your warnings to heart that no one can ever truly be safe. I think it could make Mavienikis more believable. I'm glad to have helped. So in our scene, I'll ask you to advise the troops. Then you answer, come back with your shield or under it. I'm sure every Spartan general says on it. That's what Thespis wrote. I'd like to go over those lines again. So in our scene, I'll ask you to advise the troops. Then you answer, come back with your shield or under it. I'm sure every Spartan general says on it. That's what Thespis wrote. You're back. Good. Your words stuck with me, Mystios. The public will fear and admire my Xerxes. I'm glad I could inspire you. As King Xerxes, I'll insult you and the Spartans, the usual. So you reply, the Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we all drench the gods with wine. I know Thespis loves his wine, but Leonidas said he drenched the gods with blood. He's the director. I'm sure you can make his lines work. Hitoni, good to see you. There's a lot of people out there, aren't there? I sure hope the good word of the goddess can carry me through. I'm sure it will. So, I'm Ephialtis the traitor. I'll say I'm so clever for betraying you and the Spartans. Then you say today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Why would Thespis write that? Leonidas was a king himself. He wanted the whole world to remember what he did. It's a work of art. Don't take the details too seriously. Do you need to rehearse more? Or are you ready to be Leonidas? I'm ready. Let's start the play. Welcome to our play! The heroic tale of King Leonidas and his 300 Spartans! Behold, your Leonidas! Thank you for being here. Remember that Leonidas was not only a king of Sparta, but the savior of all Greeks. I am the Anikis, lieutenant of the great Leonidas. I will serve him until Hades himself uh, comes to claim him. My commander, my king, we are outnumbered and outmaneuvered. What can I do to help? What does the Spartan general have to say to his right-hand man?
Come back with your shield, or under it. I am Xerxes, king of the Persians. Your puny gods mean nothing to me. Kneel before my mortal self. You Spartan cur! I will grind you and your people under my sandal. How will Leonidas reply to his mortal enemy, Xerxes? The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with wine! All right. I'm a Fialtis. Exile and traitor. You know I'll bring doom to the Spartan army by revealing a secret goat path to the Persians. Those stuck-up Spartans won't stand a chance. I've defeated your plans, Leonidas. What are you going to do about that? The traitor dares talk back to his king! What will Leonidas say to that? Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Don't worry, my friend. It happens all the time when Thespis tries to write lines. Your performance was fine. I'm going to talk to that Thespis. Marvelous! Such a performance! Did you hear the crowd? I barely got out of there without a fight. Next time, listen to the advice of people who know what they're talking about. After all, Leonidas was my grandfather. Oh, <laughs> you never stop performing. I love that. You almost had me convinced, you joker. Here, you're part of the tape. Thanks. Maybe I'm more of an actor than I thought. Thank you. 
Alexios, Thwarter of Thieves. I appreciate you bringing a high cost back to me, but I need to ask another favor. You need help fixing the liar. Perceptive, too. Look at it. Wood's gone soft, body splintered, it's toneless, toneless even. What can be done to save it? Crestis has been having this festival for years. The town is built around it. Of course, because instruments are as fragile as a poet's heart, there's a master lyre maker at Crefsi's port. Not too far away. And since it's been proven that nothing is safe on these hills, I'll need some muscle for protection. I can help you get there safely. The journey will be worth your while. Come now. I'm right behind you. I have this place. The small gatherings of friends grow into a massive festival. It's more home than home. Your true love is a liar, and your home is a poetry festival. You never wanted to settle somewhere. Oh, you sweet young child. My life isn't as simple as you make it out to be. I'm like Zephyros, needing to go where I please. I learned this the hard way. So you care only for yourself? If you only live your life for others, what's the point? You're nothing but a slave. A loyal beast at best. People can get hurt. If I had lived the life expected of me, traditional and domestic, I would have died. Died inside. And like his north, thrown myself into the sea. I know what I need. Seems like the festival here is much less formal than the others I've encountered. Yes. Dionysus claimed our offerings to Apollo and granted us the gift of ecstasy. I can see why it would attract people from far and wide. Do not misunderstand. Hidden is one part of worship, but there are many here who dedicate themselves to the street. Timiha, where are you? Who is making all that fucking noise? Uh, the smell of the sea is almost enough to cover your stench, Timiha. Raxila, I've been gathering fruits to throw at you all week. High praise coming from you. I need a favor. A high cost was kidnapped by some idiot and needs a new neck. This idiot? Sadly, there have been many idiots on this journey. I hired this muscle here to get the high cost back. Now he's keeping me company. All right, give him here. Poor fellow's been brutalized. But you can fix it, right? Of course I can fix him. I am the best pair of hands you're going to find outside of Athens. Problem is, Achaikos is a special boy. I have materials, but nothing worthy of putting him together. What materials do you need? I have what I need for the neck, but the old one took the strings and yoke out when it snapped. Ah, there's a crack running through the sound box. That needs to be replaced. What should I be looking for? Some use bone for the yoke and neck, but nothing beats wood, in my opinion. Strings are made from gut, and we could use a shell for the sound box. Those strings don't look like guts to me. They are. Just soaked for a long time and pulled thin. I'm sure you'll enjoy killing some legendary beast to help a Haiko sing. I've seen some liars with turtle shells for the body. Not a lot of turtles on this coast. But a good sturdy con should do the trick. What's a yoke? And what wood do you need to replace it? The yoke is the crossbar that all of the strings are attached to. Sure is. It needs to bend so a springy wood is best. I think we all can agree on that. I will return with the materials to repair a Hayukos. <laughs>
Not today, Mistyos. Go away! Fierce animals. I'll gut them for Praxilla. Hope these are enough guts for fixing a high cost. This shell should be perfect for Praxilla's lyre.
That should be enough wood for a new liar. I have everything we need. Excellent. Give it here. Be careful with it. He'll like me better when I'm done. You always were too rough with your fingering. Well, that's the first complaint I've heard about it. There he is, looking more handsome than ever. You call this your best work? You're robbing me blind. Oh, shut up and go deafen the masses with your wailing. Thanks for the help. Here's your drachmi. I need some time to put a high cost through his paces. I might need some help after, though, so swing by my tent when you have a minute. Sure, if I'm in the area. The Mistias returns. Do you have time to accompany me and Akai Kos to our triumphant performance? After all this, I wouldn't miss it. Excellent. We team up once more. So we're a team now. Can I still expect to get paid? After my performance, Drachmi will be in no short supply. Trust me. You've dedicated your life to your art. You must have a lot to show for it. I write a hundred poems every night when I go to sleep, and I throw out a hundred every morning when I wake up. Luckily, some have survived to touch people. Do you have any favorites? There's one I'm well known for that is very dear to me. The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the sun. Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. Then ripe cucumbers, apples, and pears too. Sounds nice, but we should get going. So, cucumbers? The sun gives us the fruit of the trees, like the fruit of the loins. In your poem, you say you leave the sun. Why? <laughs> Not me. Avernis. He's being asked upon death about the most beautiful things he's left behind. To me, there is no greater beauty than that of the sun and the moon and stars. Oh. Why is he being asked this? Adonis is beauty incarnate. What could be so beautiful that even he would be paying to leave? I see. Ah, looks like we've made it. Marvelous. Thank you. Looks like my adoring fans are ready for me. Be sure to catch the show. 
It's Praxila! I heard she was coming this year. Praxila! Recite something for us. I've been reciting this poem for years. Alexios, would you do me the kindness of allowing me to hear it anew from your lips? I couldn't. Nonsense. You know everything you need to do it justice. How about something new this year? The most beautiful thing I live is the light of the sun. Praise be Apollo! Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. This is one of my favorites. Then, ripe cucumbers, apples, and pears, too. That's always been my favorite verse. I'm happy my poem touched you so deeply, Alexios. Have you thought about trading your spear for the lyre? I will stick to swinging swords, thanks. It wouldn't be a poetry festival without someone causing a disturbance. Raxilla, get to safety. I can handle them. Some cursed idiots drink too much wine and get themselves killed. I didn't know poetry festivals were such lively events. Indeed. I need to take a moment to recover. Let's go back to my tent. But we do have a happy ending. Praxila, it has taken me long years of soul-searching and many nights of tears to bring myself to this moment. I am Archimedes, your son. When I heard the name of the man who stole my lyre, I suspected it might be you. I've dreamt of hurting you as you hurt me and my father a thousand times. But I only knew you as the mother who abandoned me, and not as the artist that I just saw. Just as Adonis lamented the beauty he left behind, I too left that which was most precious to me on the death of my old self. You're not dead. Neither of you are. Take this opportunity and see what you can build together. Thank you for all your help.
Aphrodite, Artemis, Athena, mothers and daughters of Olympus, please lead us to safety. We can't lose anyone else. I'm none of those, but I am Alexios, Hemistios. What's wrong? My people are in grave danger. We lost our leaders and our warriors, and now our hunters have disappeared. Hunting parties can be gone for weeks before returning. What happened to everyone else? War. The fight between Athens and Sparta has reached their borders, so the men left to offer their swords. I fear that those remaining will be lost to the sons of Xerxes. I haven't heard of the sons of Xerxes. That's quite the name. Persians left over from the Battle of Thermopylae. They have no nation except the heritage of an ancient king, but their numbers are great, and ours are not. I would not trade our roles in this situation, though killing is my specialty, and I can hunt and track. Do you deal in advice? I don't know how to address my people. They know something is wrong, and I'm not sure what to do about it. There is no easy answer. If you were to take it one step at a time, how would you start? I can't bring back the men, or stop the sons of Xerxes by myself. I know it's a lot to ask. But can you bring them home? Even if it's just bones, we'll need to honor them. I'll look for the missing hunters. My cousin Agnodiki volunteered to look for them. She hasn't returned either.
I never thought I'd be free. Those bastards! Those bastards! Are you all right? Do I look all right? You survived. It's more than we can say for your companions. That was our warning. First our hunters, then the rest of the village. I need to warn our magistrate about the son of Xerxes and their plans. And I need to see her about my payment. You've returned. What news of Agnodeki and the hunters? Magistrate Perictioni, I have grave news. The sons of Xerxes are preparing to strike. Oh, it's you. Magistrate, this Mistio saved me from certain death. For double the reward, I hope? Finally, someone around here who knows how to use a sword. I've been trying to convince Perry to build our defenses since we first saw the sons of Xerxes creeping closer to the village. Ugh. This is my sister, Thea. She considers herself to be acting general of Lalea in the men's absence. It was your husband who shielded us before. Someone must do so now. Did you hear anything Agnodiki said? If we wait on the gods for help, we will be massacred. The only language the sons of Xerxes seem to understand is violence. Mistios, what if I hired you to protect the village? I'll do what I can. Good. Meet me at Kifiso Spring. I have plans for those sons of Xerxes. <gasps> Good to see your face again. Yours too. Lalea is the daughter of Kifisos, god of this spring. It's said that she lives in these pools. The year, right? Beric Dioni told me you've been acting as general. Though, from what I saw earlier, you and your sister don't see eye to eye. Peri would die folded in prayer before she asked for my advice. Her distraction has allowed the sons of Xerxes to advance. And now we are on the knife's edge, waiting for the slaughter, and we have done nothing. I must prepare myself to fight, and hopefully the others too. Can you teach me? Your sister says you act like a general. Let's see if you fight like one. I'm ready. I told you not to go easy on me. That was humbling. The sons of Xerxes won't be as kind. No. It's a good wake-up call. One I wish Perry could have. But Big Sister always knows best. Sounds like she's always giving you a hard time. <laughs> you could say that. Acting like the hero while I do the dirty work. Now you're the hero. 
One can only hope to live up to that title. I've been playing soldier too long, and now I'm stuck in the role of Perseus while feeling like Andromeda. I seem to recall the legend saying that Andromeda was nude and tied to a rock. Was she? I'll have to remember that the next time I'm reenacting the myth. Lalea has a rich heritage for theater, though not so much for fighting. Spartan women are taught to keep up with Spartan men. Lalea seems different. It is an oversight that I've been pushing to correct. When the men leave for war, our defenses are limited to a few hunters too valuable to leave. Or young men who can barely hold a spear. And now that the hunters are dead... We're more exposed to attacks from the sons of Xerxes than ever. I've seen kings and commanders. You share their temperament. Perry married the governor. I am unwed. Spinsters do not become leaders. We exist on the fringes. We should get back to the task at hand. There's still a lot to do. You're right. But it's hard to know where to start. I need to train the others for war, but we are without weapons and armor. No blacksmith. But his daughter is still here. And what about the hunters you lost? We need to train replacements. There's also a camp close by. Likely the daughters of Artemis. They are not a friendly bunch, so we've been doing our best to avoid them. Who should I train to hunt? I've met with some volunteers from the village. They've got a little experience, but need to have their bow arms straightened. You can find them on the edge of La Lea. Not sure how useful I'll be to the blacksmith's daughter. Metheodosa mentioned needing some materials before she can get started. Between you and me, she needs a little push. She's been helping her father at the forge since she could walk, but she still doubts her own abilities. I'll get to it. if I know how. Oh, who are you? A mercenary hired by the village magistrate. Oh, that explains why I don't know you. I'm Ethiadusa. Please don't tell me you need new weapons or armor. I don't, but the rest of the village does. Oh, that's worse. I thought you were the village blacksmith. Why are you so reluctant? I'm not the village blacksmith. My father is, and my brother is his apprentice. I just fetch wood when they need it. Now they all expect me to arm the village. Are you the only member of your family left? I'll know when the men return from war. Matter left with the ferryman last year. Is there any way I can help? I think Pater left the molds and tools nearby. But I need ore. And even then I might make something utterly useless. You look capable enough to me. There's a difference between knowing how to do something with your mind and knowing how to do it with your hands. Fair enough. What kind of ore do you need? Any kind of ore will technically do, but... But... My pater used the legendary ore when making a dagger for my mother. It is called Aphrodite's ore. Sounds strange, but it's true. Did the ore get its name? The legend says, Ephestos, god of the forge, found this ore and used it to make a helmet for his wife, Aphrodite. She loved it for its color. Because of that, the ore works in the hands of any smith. Where can I find the ore? It's hard to reach. It's down the cliffs at the Persian remnants in a secret cave just above the water. Sounds like you've been there before. I told you, I wasn't a smith. I was there to fetch what Pater needed. 
I'd go myself, but I need to hit up the kiln. I'll bring back Aphrodite's ore. That must be the cave. I can see why this ore is named for Aphrodite.
That should be enough ore from Atiadusa. Time to head back. I found the ore. Amazing. I'll ready the molds. Will that be enough for the village? It should be a good start. Oh, that reminds me. I have a problem. You and the rest of Lalea. I'm just one smith, and I can divide my time between making weapons and armor. But it will slow down the process. It would be faster if I just worked on one. Which should I focus on? Weapons or armor? Weapons can be improvised. Armor can't. Focus on keeping people safe. Yes, you're right. Your confidence gives me hope. Thank you for your help. This is the whole hunting party? We're all Lalea has to spare since the sons of Xerxes killed our husbands and sons. You must be the Mistios Periktioni hired. I am. We may not be the big brutes you're used to, but we're versed in killing well enough. Well, we know how to fish. Let's start. We're ready. Do you have everything you need? Yes. Get your bows and we'll go. Tell me about Lalea. We've been blessed by both the waters of Kephisos and by Aphrodite herself. For she is the source of all beauty. All settlements need to be near water. Ours just has a lot. And you fish in the pools and the river? Kephisos provides us with what we need. Not enough in there to provide for all of Lalea. That's why we need you. With the sons of Xerxes so close, is there less game around? We've been relying more on fish and fruit. It's enough for now. Animals don't scream and beg for mercy the way humans do. I doubt they interest the sons of Xerxes as much. There's still food. Perhaps their numbers aren't as high as we think. They may not have enough archers to black out the sun with arrows, but they do have enough to fill every citizen of Lalea with holes. Yeah. 
nearby. Don't mention the bear. I'm already regretting being here. <laughs> to raise your elbow to be level with your ear, keeping your arm straight and relaxed. Your arrow needs to be dropped. Try to aim for the eye, so that you don't damage the rest of the meat. Thank you, Mistios. I've learned much from the bow. Aphrodite may provide, but Artemis acts. La Lea is such a beautiful place. I'm glad I can do my part to take care of it. Thank you. That should be enough to get you through the week, but there's still much to be done for La Lea. I've done all I can for these women. Time to get back to Peritione. You can talk some sense into my sister. I've just spoken with the hunting party. They recovered new enemy arrows near the boundaries of the village. Scouts. Likely sent ahead to find weaknesses in Lalea's defenses. Of which there are many. That's what I've been telling Perry! We need to kill those scouts. Even if we do defeat the lion's share of the sons in battle, the scouts will cut our throats as we sleep. If everyone dies in battle, there will be no village left to defend. Agnodiki spoke of enemy weapons caches. If we destroy those, we'll cut the legs off our foes. What did Agnodiki find? She overheard the sons of Xerxes discussing supplies they stole from a nearby fortress and returned to their camp. Why are these scouts such a threat? What if we're away in battle, and the scouts return to kill those we've left behind? We need to deal with this now. Which do we focus on? The scouts or the casses? I'll take care of the scouts. The last thing we need is an ambush. If you've chosen wrong, We'll be exposed with nothing to show for it. But if you must go, go now. Are you ready? I'll see you when it's done. What is it that Spartans say about shields? With them or on them? May the gods guide your path and the arc of your sword.
Destroying the castles is strategic. Wandering through the woods looking for scouts is a waste of time.
That's all of them. Better get back to Lalea. I hunted them to the last. <sighs> I'll sleep easier knowing that. I still worry about them overcoming our numbers in battle. But thank you. This will change our fate. How prepared are we? We are under attack. Thea and her warriors are holding them off, but we need reinforcements. As prepared as we're going to be. Go. I'll stay with those who can't fight. Oh, this way! They've got a pin against the rocks. believe we did it but cost yeah this is war we killed them how all i remember was swinging until my arms hurt then swinging more if you hadn't killed those scouts i might have died thinking of them i'm glad it's over i may not be a champion of the gods but it'll take more than a few wounds to fell me let's return to lalea
It's okay. It's over. We beat them back. All that's left to do is burn the bodies. You protected my sister and my village. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. We protected each other. I don't know how we can ever repay you. I can think of a few ways I can repay you. Really? You're having this discussion here? In front of your sister and the whole town? Later, then. Gratitude, Mistios. Here is the Drachmi, as promised. You will always be welcome in Lale. My grandfather died not too far from here. I'm glad he defended this place from the Persians. Alexios, if you could come see me before you leave, I'll be by the waterfall. And now the work of rebuilding begins. It's good to see all this beauty at peace once again. Hmm. And for years to come, thanks to you. I can't promise you peace. But you did give us the tools to preserve it. So, what kind of reward did you have in mind? My first thoughts were of getting you out of those clothes. If that's the first thought, I can't wait to see how the second and third thoughts go. Oh, there won't be much thinking. But there will be seconds and thirds. What will you do now? With everything taken care of, I'm free to do what I want. A list that includes spending more time with you. Come with me then. I can always use someone who can think and use a sword. You only want me around for my brains and my brawn. Would you prefer I said I wanted you to keep my bed warm? I've lived here my whole life. To leave it... Well, that would be an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> 